What's up, fragrance fam? Welcome back to the channel, man. On today's video, we're gonna be doing a review on a fragrance I picked up called Hunter Armoff. Armoff Hunter Intense, guys. I'm not really familiar. I wasn't really familiar with this part of a fragrance haul that I did off of Triple Traders, guys. And I'm gonna be telling y'all about it. Really surprised me with this scent right here. Hunter Intense by Armoff. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back into the channel. Peace to my new subscribers, peace to my return subscribers, peace to everybody in the fragrance community. Um, whew, excuse me. Like I said, guys, we're talking mm, Hunter by Armoff Intense. Now, there is another fragrance. It's, I heard there's much more flankers in this line, but I did pick up the Hunter Eau de Parfum Concentration as well. That bottle is definitely similar to this, but instead it's brown around here and the bottle is clear. You can see the juice. But nevertheless, this is an excellent fragrance. It was part of a haul I did on Triple Traders. I'm gonna link that down in the description to get the price on it for you guys. But I do believe this one came in under the $35 mark. And presentation is kind of different. I, I like the straps on here, you know, on the bottle. I like this leathery kind of feel. Cap is pretty standard. It's not a heavy cap. And like I said, this is like a matted, Mate black right here and atomizer is not bad and what this smells like is a Creed Aventus mixed with some Dior Sauvage kind of DNA and it is a beautiful fragrance so it opens up right let me get it on a strip for y'all spray that in the air it opens up man and it actually kind of fooled me a little bit because when you first spray it I mean, personally, I was thinking like, okay, I was thinking like, okay, we got another Aventus. We got another Creed Aventus uh, clone, and that's fine. I have no problem with it. Creed Aventus is a Hall of Fame fragrance DNA, but immediately this changed and it became like the perfect balance of Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum concentration because I say Eau de Parfum because it's not Eau de Parfum is definitely much sharper, but I do believe it has a sweetness to it, slight sweetness to it um, as well. And yes, this is like this is like the perfect combination. Not one scent is overpowering the other, and it's man, it tricked me. It tricked me. This one is really nice, guys. I bring this one to work and actually. My coworker, um, shout, out, shout out to my guy Logan Moore, really uh, and liked that fragrance. He actually liked this one better than the Eau de Parfum concentration. I'm going to be doing a video on that one pretty soon as well. But for the sake of this one, this is a beautiful scent, guys. Um, like I said, it will change up on you. So it does start out like a little citrusy kind of vibe. Uh, I will do believe, I will say. It just definitely has embroxin in it, but it's not really sharp. I don't get like a metallic kind of vibe. I'm gonna pull a notes up on, for y'all for this one, but that's beautiful by Armoff. Guys, like I said, I did pick this one up as a, a part of a fragrance haul of Triple Traders. And right now on Triple Traders, guys, for 100 ml, 3.4 ounce, it is $24.99. I recommend you definitely go cop this fragrance for sure. And like and like I was saying, it is inspired by the Eau de Parfum concentration of Sauvage. And it has this Aventus thing going on with it as well. But in the top notes of this fragrance is bergamot and lemon. A creative Aventus. Bergamot, lemon, lemon, mandarin, cardamom. In the middle, geranium, lavender, rose, bay pepper. And in the base, vetiver, cedar, musk. So this one is good, man. Excellent job for $24.99. I know when you smell it, of course, what it's mimicking is going to be redundant, but it's nice for $25. You cannot beat it. The Eau de Parfum release is very nice as well. But the Eau de Parfum, to me, um, that one is much more for like cooler weather. This one is definitely seasons, definitely spring, summer, occasions, any occasion is versatile out this world. Time of day, any time of day you can wear this fragrance. You could wear this fragrance about anywhere. The scent DNA on it is versatility, screams versatility to me. Dress it up, dress it down, wear it to a job interview, wear it to the club, however you want to do it. It is amazing. It's amazing. For $24.99, you can't beat it, guys. Hunter 
by our moth and tense. Now, let's talk performance. Total performance on this fragrance for me lasts up into the six to the seven hour mark for me and projection with good within the first hour and a half. So I had no problems with performance guys, me, okay? I don't know about everybody else's skin, but to me, it's a good performance off my skin. I have no problem with the overall fragrance. And for 25 bucks, you can beat it. I think you should add it to your collection. I'm going to be looking into more flankers from this line as well, but like I said, so far, I only got this one and the Hunter Old Eye Perfume Concentration, guys. So that was my thoughts on Hunter um, Intense by Armoth. $24.99 off of Triple Traders. I think you should add this one to the collection. It has like a, you know, a nice cheapie to throw up in the, throw up in the rotation, man. All right, so thanks for watching this video, man. If you stuck with me this long, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share button. Uh, tell them we are, man, all right? The Fragrance Show. If you need more content, click on that video header up on the screen, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, salute.